Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the best workflow when you are using Terminal and you are writing a code and using Terminal. Now, I'm currently working on a Django project and being a Django developer, usually I have to type a lot of commands on a Terminal. Now, I'm going to clear it out. For example, you use Git. And a lot of people use Git GUI software, but I use Terminal, which is like, you know, much better, faster, and, you know, you got to remember a lot of commands. For example, if I want to check the status of the code, I'll type git status, and I can see the files modified. That's clearly the terminal. And if I want to commit this, I'll type git commit-m, and then the message. Now, I want to use this command again and again, and I don't want to type git commit dash m again and again. I want to short this command, maybe create an alias. Now, for that, we can use a bash script, and that's what we're going to learn in this video. Now, in terms of Django commands, for example, if I want to run a server, I'll have to type python manage run server. And this is going to run the server on port 8000. I'm going to press Control C to stop it. Now, if I want to use the same command, but I don't want to type Python manage.py run server, I'll type PMR and press enter, and it does the same thing. Now, another command in Django that I use a lot, which is Python manage migrate. And you can see it migrated all of these tables. So if I want to, you know, short this, I'll have to PMM. This is my custom shortcuts that I've already set. It's up to you. You want to type PMMMM, whatever the, the alias that you want to create. Now, you could create alias. For example, you want to run any Python command, which basically, you know, lets you write a shortcut. You can create an alias in the terminal session. So you type alias command, and then you type that Python is equal to python3 now whenever you type python it's going to you know call python3 now if i close this symbol this shortcut this alias is going to go and i would not be able to you know use that alias so the best way is to you know write all your aliases in bash script where every time you open a project all you have to do is just run that bash script in the terminal session and there you go and that's where you all your you know bash scripts are active in that current session and you can use those commands so here i want to show you my bash script so here i have created aliases.bash let's open this up file and now here we have you know conda activate clock in python manage python manage collect static no inputs all of these commands are long one of the command here is python manage run server 0 call it 8000 now let's just say i will close the terminal by pressing delete i open the terminal again and now the previous ses session was you know gone now if i type pmr so you see the alias is pmr and if i type pmr and press return and it says pmr is not found so what I have to do is when I open a terminal, obviously when you're going to open a project in VS Core or any other software, you're going to open a terminal first time. All you have to do is just dot alias dot bash. Just run this script, press return, and all of these aliases and also the git config commands are automatically you know, available in this session now. So I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to type PMR. And now you can see it's running the server. If I want to, you know, log... And, you know, you have to type this command log dash dash graph dash dash decorate. Or maybe you want to add another flag, which is one line. Now, if I want to see a log like this, so for example, if I type git log dash dash graph dash dash decorate dash dash one line and enter. And this is how you see your log. Now, I don't want to write this long command again and again. So to, you know, do an alias locally, I have written this script, which helps me to just type LGD. It doesn't work because it's a git alias. So you have to type git LGD, press enter, 
and there you go you have this lgd log like this i'm going to save this file and i'm going to you know uh, clear the terminal and we're going to run the alias again because i've changed this look you know dash dash one line so i'll type dot alias enter and now if i type git lgd you can see it's running it's showing me this you know one line uh one line git log so every time you change you're gonna have to run it again now all of this command is automatically being available like with this alias or this alias so if i want to go to shell where it's python managed shell command i'll simply type pm as such and it will take me to the python shell okay so let's just do an exit play the terminal now you can see that when you use a lot of git commands or any other terminal commands in the code project or in the project uh, i would highly recommend don't waste your time creating writing these long commands instead of that create a bash script write your commands once and then activate that bash script in the current session of your terminal which is going to save you a lot of time okay i hope you like this trick and this has been great for me i've saved a lot of time remembering these commands and yeah you can do that as well all right thank you so much please subscribe and like the video and i'll be creating more videos now on terminal and all about the bash scripting all right talk to you guys later